Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Quest today. So, we are now talking about the coronavirus. We already knew what the virus is itself. What do we already know? We know what is the coronavirus. It is a virus with RNA that is covered with fats and that can infect humans and other animals. It is transmitted through droplets and it can also survive in surfaces. But now let's move to uh, the disease it can produce, the COVID-19. So, Elske, what do you think if, uh, for the sake of science, we infect ourselves to see how the, the disease goes and how it affects our bodies? I think this is a sacrifice we have to make. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's get one virus. And uh, let's get infected, yeah. Okay. And wait and see. Let's wait and see. Okay. During the incubation time, the virus starts multiplying, but still there are no symptoms and you feel okay. During the prodromal, the first symptoms appear, that can be cough, a lack of smell, and fever. The disease reaches its peak, and the patient feels very sick. Finally, the symptoms go down, and the person recovers. So, how did you feel? What? It was a strange couple of weeks. I didn't feel actually anything. Really? No, I, f I felt quite bad. Well, I didn't, I didn't develop any symptoms. I didn't have cough, I didn't have fever. Are you sure you got it? I mean, we scrapped the virus in our face. Yeah, I think we got it. Infected. And actually, there are some people that don't develop any symptoms while they are sick. And that's actually one of the most dangerous points of the COVID-19 because you might be sick, you might be able to infect other people, and you don't know. I see. Okay. That's why also even if you don't think you have the disease, you should still be careful just in case you are sick, you are not infecting anybody. I see. Well, but I think we were still quite lucky. I mean, I felt bad, but mm -hmm. you know, there's people who have it much worse. Uh -huh. There are people that develop more severe symptoms than you did, for example. Yeah, yeah. So, and to know why, why, what do you think about going inside somebody's body who is developing severe symptoms? I think that would be interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The immune system protects us from intruders. The response of the immune system causes inflammation in some cells. This inflammation can be dangerous if it affects too many cells. So it is important that the system finds a balance and is able to inflammate only the minimum amount of cells that it needs to get rid of the virus. In COVID-19, if the immune system overreacts, large areas of the lung can get inflammated, causing a pneumonia. These cases can get very serious and lead to severe consequences, including death. Wow, then actually the immune system of these people works too much? Yes, in, in the case of uh, corona, actually this is what makes people most sick, your own immune system overreacting to it. So what happens is that, especially with people, for example, older people, we know that they get it more than mm -hmm, younger like people. Younger. And this, this happens because some of the, the cells of their immune system, the ones that communicate to the other cells, they don't really have a lot of the communication cells. So basically, the immune system just goes wild and there's not a lot of communication and therefore it rea overreacts, it does too much. What did we learn today? We learned about COVID-19. It is the disease caused when someone is infected by coronavirus. Its most common symptoms are cough, fever, breath difficulties, and lack of smell and taste. Some people show no symptoms even if they are infected, and it can become a severe disease if our immune system overreacts. Alright, so I hope you learned a lot today again, and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye! bye.